In Texas, farmers are changing how they farm in order to survive. National reporter Tyne Morgan takes us to the Texas Panhandle, where the drought is not releasing its powerful grip, even after three years. As a dirt devil barrels across this Texas field, it helps paint the picture of just how dry it is. Right now, basically, it's dry 10 or 20 foot down, I mean, from top to bottom. The persisting drought is in its third year. Just last week, 70 mile per hour winds created conditions that could easily be mistaken for the Dust Bowl era. I think if we would have been in the 30s, where they had been, if we'd been farming like they were in the 30s, we would see huge Dust Bowl. And with the, our practices now, where we're no tilling and you're leaving as much cover on top as we can, we just, I mean, you see dirt blowing, but I don't think it's near as what it would be. If you've got any kind of moisture, it's because you've paid for it. The latest drought monitor shows more than 96% of the state is in some level of drought. The worst of it seems to be in the Texas Panhandle, where the highest level of drought consumes much of the area. Those conditions mean the dry dirt is now rock solid, making it difficult for crops to grow. This is actually a replant. Whenever I planted into it, uh, it was really hard and I couldn't get my planter to go on the ground very well due to the lack of moisture. Uh, so we plowed it up and replanted it on the 2nd of May. Farmers are being forced to change their practices to eliminate the potential loss of soil and yield. It's just so dry all the way down and there's just no, no sub moisture whatsoever. So if you do plow, that's the problem. You don't want to touch it because if you do go in there and plow it, it just may, puffs it up where it blows even worse. Two years have presented a particular challenge in that it's been hard to grow enough residue to keep the ground from blowing, to keep the no-till thing going. With two years under their belt, farmers have become more aware of what they need to do to grow a crop in desert-like conditions. Well, the thing that we're learning is that uh, you have to cut your acres in half just to stay up with the water. As new crops try to shoot up despite little rain, it's the wheat crop that seems to be suffering the most. Right now, I'm in the middle of a dry land wheat field here in the Texas Panhandle, and as you can see, it is not a pretty sight. Many farmers say they won't even harvest their crop this year. Well, the dry land crop's just not there. It's any of their, you know, if it was planted late, it, a lot of it didn't even come up. And so, uh, you know, it's pretty well just cover is basically all it is. And looking into the rest of this year, area farmers hope for rain. But they say if moisture doesn't come between now and the beginning of July, the possibility of making a dry land crop this year will fade. It's hard to, you know, just say, well, how, how do you survive this stuff? I, you know, I, I was born in 1957, and they say in the 50s they went through this drought and how it took the tough people to stay. From the Texas Panhandle, I'm Tyne Morgan for Ag Day.